to me, the great hope is that now these little eight millimeter video recorders and stuff come around, some just people who normally wouldn't make movies are going to be making them. And, you know, suddenly one day some little fat girl in Ohio is going to be the new Mozart, you know, and make a, a beautiful film with her little father's camera recorder. And for once, the so-called professionalism about movies will be destroyed forever, you know, and it'll really become an art form. Creators today are living in a dream world. This is the Canon Vixia HFG60. It can shoot in 4K, 30 frames per second, flip out screen, has a 20 times optical zoom, and three built-in ND filters. It costs around $1,600. This is the GoPro Hero 11. It can shoot in 5.3K, is waterproof, has some of the best stabilization ever designed, and for all intents and purposes, is pretty much bulletproof. It costs around $500. This is the Insta360 X3. It shoots in 360 degrees all the way around it and allows you to reframe into whatever shot you want after the fact. And this is the Osmo Pocket 3. It shoots at 4K, 60 frames a second, can shoot slow-mo, panning time lapses. It's built onto a three axis gimbal it has a built-in audio receiver for wireless mics. I got this for around $400. And this is a goddamn helicopter I bought that shoots 4K, 30 frames a second, uses satellites to stabilize it, has an 18-minute battery life, can go 1,200 feet in the air, travel 20 miles per hour, and cost me about $1,000. All of the cameras mentioned here can capture better image quality than any of the cameras that were available at the time that Francis there made that quote. We are living in a time that one of the greatest directors of all time knew was coming. And the people, those fat little girls from Ohio, or those tall slender fellows from New Mexico, or fuck, even those bald, chubby, very handsome dads from New Hampshire that are out there today picking up a camera and making movies, those people, are capable of competing with the biggest media production companies on the planet. Because at the end of the day, art isn't made by committee. It's made by artists. And artists today have all of the tools available they need to make whatever it is they want to make. Budget is no longer the deciding factor for who gets to share their point of view. Today And some of those artists are just girls who like rabbits. Or they're people who pulled noir as their 48 hour film festival genre. Or maybe there's someone who's struggling. Or maybe they're siblings. They're painters. They capture the great times and the hard times. They show us the dark stuff and they show us the light stuff too. Because what art does is it shows us what it means to be human. So this Saturday, we'd like to invite you to come celebrate humanity with us. I've done like four takes of this and I keep messing it up, so I'm just gonna read it out of my notes because I think it sounds nice, but I don't have all day to stand out here. I didn't even get permission to do this. <clears throat> I partnered with Studio Lab to bring you some of the incredible artists that are living the dream set forward by those who came first. For the low, low cost of one pack of diapers, who knows, you may be seeing the next Mozart. Or not. But at the very least, you're gonna spend a cool night hanging out with cool people, watching some cool films. Nick Sands presents a film festival at Studio Lab to benefit the great people at FAIR. We hope to see you there.